everybody. Thanks for being here. Me and Jackson are out on the reservoir today. Just going to lay some trout lines. Come with us. I'm going to show you how we do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we're going to do is find a, a place to secure our line. I'm going to be using the line that I made. I'm gonna go around the ceiling right here. Make sure she's secure, but she is not. Check these lines. More than a secure. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. I'll show you as soon as I get her connected. That root is nice and secure. Now, pretty much, we're going to start letting our line come off of our spool here. This is just an old speaker wire spool. And this is a handmade or homemade trout line. Okay. Jackson got him a couple of salamanders before we left. So it is driving him flat bunkers to um to use so I told him that's one thing about doing this is way better if you have multiple people is somebody can run the motor versus just having to you know manually do everything rowing I'm sure there's better ways to do it but I can't figure it out All right, so anyways, we're gonna get this thing fully spooled and get it anchored off here out in the water. We had pretty good success in this spot last year. That's why I came back here. I wanna go back there in that cove and try to cast that for some shad for the next line, but we'll see. Somebody back there guarding it. Jackson, hand me one of them rotors. Give me that rotor, bro. I like to use rotors because they stick in the mud like a stingray does at the bottom of the ocean. If you've ever caught one and that joker sticks to the ground, you'll break your pole trying to force them up. I'm just going to tie this off here. Like so. Well, they will bite you, man. That's why I told you. Leave them alone. They ain't going to hurt you, but they, they're going to bite you. All right, we'll get that done. I'm going to bore you with this part. We're going to roll this line all the way out. good enough for now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to anchor right here and get all my bait together. Bait out of here. Alright, Jackson wants to show y'all. This is the um, family of um, salamanders that I caught in the um, woods trying to find worms accidentally found all these Sounds salamanders. Oh yeah, Justin's gonna try to flip those. Alright. Always keep it. I told you. He's swimming. Get him. Get him with your neck. Get him with your neck. There you go. Jackson just dropped his salamander and recovered him. Oh, he's right there, Jack. On the rudder. On the rudder. On the rudder. You're gonna lose him, man. That's why I told you not to play with them until we put them in the hook. So the bait we're gonna be using today is some old chicken breast uh, soaked in minced garlic. Figured I'd show you that. I threw a little red Kool-Aid on there. I normally don't do that. 
But um, if you want to buy manufactured baits, there's a lot of them. I sell a lot of them. But since this channel is uh, what it is, I'm going to keep it, keep it real. I know a lot of people are always looking for baits they can make That's themselves. Selling manager Jackson caught. This is what I did. I just chunked it up. Um, so now at this point, we're going to go ahead and bait all our hooks. And then uh, we're going to uh, bait the line, retension it, and uh, hopefully catch fish. Go lay in their line. Stay with me. Alright, so we're baited up. Yeah, the start of the line. This is the lines have to be tight. Have to be. That one's got a lot of slack in Alright, so. pre-made baits and uh, just clip it on one of my drops. That's it. We'll keep on pushing as fast as possible. You think so? Well, I hope you're right. Because it's exposed meat, so. Okay, exposed meat. All right, well, let's go back and fire the motor tag of this thing and get up out of here. Jackson, we're just about ready to move. Jackson spotted a deer right there. Look, there's the mama deer. There's the mama deer. Good eye, boy. There's the baby deer. Oh, yeah. You got the eye of a sportsman, boy. Now the question is, where's the buck? Yeah, where's the buck? That's what everybody wants to know. I swear there's a buck. Shoot, biggest one I ever seen. Couldn't get a shot at it. Wait, Let's move on. What's up? Oh, that's a Kill it, boy. we lay our trout lines i hope it makes sense um if you need more information check out my playlist for trout lining i've got some more videos kind of shows you how to do the same thing just hadn't done one in a while um well, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe you don't want to miss our video our next video where we're actually going to be running these lines hopefully pull up some big fish thanks for watching special thanks to all my subscribers i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>